Palsy. What on earth could have happened? No, I want to talk to Hark and I adjust settings again. I had no doubt anything was wrong. I had no idea anything was wrong. How stupid. I wish it said something. Super secret ninja art scroll. I wonder what sort of mysteries are locked within it. Now I see what Mirai's been on about. I swear she just doesn't get it. Oh, she's up here. I let Mirai go. Was that really okay? I mean, I just kind of drag her back against her will, so I don't see that I had much of a choice, but still. どうにもいたしましょう。よし、行ってくる。未来、待て。ホメだ。日陰から話を聞いた。だったらこのまま行かせてよ。私が生末クラスにいたら凶暴化してみんなに。バカ野郎。私は言ったはずだ。体力や精神力の弱い者が凶暴化しやすいと。だ、だから私は未来聞け。体力や精神力が弱いのなら鍛えればいい。違うか。やるべきことはまず修行。逃げるよりも鍛えることだ。未来私
私の勝ちだな。私弱いね。強くなりたい。私もっともっと強くなりたい。なれるさ。未来なら強くなるための戦いなら私がいくらでも付き合っている。私、無限人になってないの。気にするな。今戻れば、音がめはないだろう。それに、悪は善より寛大だからな。さあ、一緒に帰ろう。よし、決めた。Goodness, Mirai's come back. Mirai got back. I got that tight feeling in my chest start to settle down. What was that exactly? Sorry for the trouble I caused. Gotta get stronger. Get to lose myself. Very happy that Mirai's come back safely. Gonna celebrate with a, with a sprout. Of course. Of course. Record to my superiors. Let's see if this occasion never is re never repeated. Oh, oh, I did talk to everybody, okay. Time for more training. Yeah, of course. Yes. Chapter 4 now. Yep. Getting there. もう後輩たちを私学たしましょうか。うん。はるかさん。ひばり。なんでここに。もちろん自分で調べたんだよ。ひばり、情報活動だけは得意だから。まさか、ヘビ女の本拠地に乗り込んでくるなんて。はるか
Ah. Interesting. Man, that's in a really fun. ひばりは嘘をついていない。本当にヘビ女に転校したいのね。うん。ひばり、はるかさんと一緒に頑張りたいの。うーん。なんだけどけで可愛いの。もう抱きしめたい。ちょっと待って。はい、これ。え、ここ
Sounds of children playing from somewhere in the distance. The voices are coming from Central Park, which is what the main recreational area of the slums is called. I wonder what's going on. Let's take a look and see. A woman clad in kimono and a mask stands at the stage at the center of the plaza. The mask is a handmade was handmade to look like some kind of bird. Probably a swallow, I guess. It appears to be quite a hit with the children. The masked woman begins acting like a child. <laughs> she then switched to a role of a creepy old man. She can apparently act multiple roles. Quickly shifting to a powerful voice, she presses play on an old cassette player. A fast-paced Japanese instrumental begins to play. The woman strikes a pose at the center stage. BC masks starts to beat up the creepy old man. From BC mask to the old man. Old man to little girl. Little girl back to BC mask. She shifts her position with ditzying speed, keeping up the play but by herself. It's not a good performance by any means. The acting falls short of what professionals typically offer. Amateur production or not, however, the children's eyes are glued to BC mask. The end of the play is met with a wave of applause and cheering. All the children are smiling. I've never seen such happy expressions. BC Mask hands out candy to the children, then dashes off stage. I quickly, quietly follow BC Mask. BC Mask is surprisingly fast that I have to run at full speed to avoid losing sight of her. She's as fast as a Shinobi student. Who on earth is she? She stops in front of a town hall and drops an envelope into the mailbox. Once she leaves, I stick my hand into the mailbox. Now let's see. On the envelope is written, donation of 30,000 yen. She puts on a show, gives out candy, and even donates money to help the slums. I'm content with the desire to thank her. I exit the slums only to find BB BC Mask in the shade of a nearby tree, a tree nearby. She just removed the mask and places it in her bag. I move in front of her to catch a glimpse of her face. I see her features and I'm suddenly struck dumb. BC Mask is really... Why it says BC since they clearly say KP. Whatever. Mortifying. This is mortifying. I've never been so humiliated. BC Mask is the little princess. I thought it would be a good, be such a good person under the mask. What a ludicrous notion. At my harsh tone, the little princess cast her gaze downward. The princess fidgets, unable to reply. Okay, okay. Yeah. I guess that would make sense. I'm taking it back at the sheer lameness of the name. I tune out her explanation immediately. I'm not interested in whatever stupid reason she has. I take all my pent up aggression and unleash it in, in my words. The princess says nothing in retaliation as I prepare to deliver my final assault. The cold hardness of the wealthy can be matched only by my ruthlessness. 
いくらだと思われまして月額30万円30万円ですよ学校の奨励金を全部寄付しているんです They're going without They're going without men I could make sure one less child would starve I wouldn't mind being broke if it meant helping them She sighs as she speaks With that, she drops feebly to her knees and lowers her head to the ground. She's kneeling? The princess is kneeling beside her pride, setting aside her pride and kneeling before me? I have to admit, I'm a bit astonished. I'm forced to bite down my roaring emotions. I'm not fond of people who think that saying I'm sorry fixes everything. In fact, I've always regarded the urge to apologize with deep suspicion. You can bow your head and still be laughing in your heart. I'm sure all rich people do just that. She still kneels with her brow to the ground, not moving a muscle. As I watch her, I can't help thinking of her BC mask performance. The children really did look happy. They were truly enjoying the performance. Can such a rotten ch person really give such a joy to children? Of course not. Children are pure and honest beings. They can see right through people who are mean to them, mean them harm. But if that's the case, what's going through the princess's mind? I grind my teeth as I feel something welling up. The image of the princess kneeling begins to blur and cloud over my vision. My emotion suddenly burst forth. I perform my shinobi transformation and swing my sword down at her. But the princess does not even react. With only a few inches from the princess's head, only my sword digs deeply into the ground. I inhale sharply, attempting to put my breathing and mood in order. There are so many things I want to say to her. I began babbling all my deepest feelings. I unleash all the sadness and anger I've been holding back all these years. The tears threatened to spill from my eyes. Before I realize it, she's crying right along with me. Her large black eyes begin to cloud over like crystals. Her mouth finally opens. A tear traces its way down her cheek. In my fury, I kick away the princess's bag. Still crying, I grasp her shoulders and begin shaking her. I shake her as hard as I can, over and over. As I scream, I catch sight of the scroll, roll down on the ground. It must have been in her bag. I picked it up and opened it. The princess lets out a small explanation, but I take, still look at the scroll. Her entire family tree is detailed on it. 
The scroll reveals a shocking truth to me. The princess was adopted. She nods at me silently. I'm suddenly reminded of the eating contest. That man, Murasame, his cold attitude toward her must have been because she's not of his blood kin. Maybe. Maybe she didn't have such a peaceful, happy childhood after all. With this, she again puts her brow to the ground. I had it completely wrong. She hadn't discarded her pride by prostrating herself. Quite the opposite. She was proud of her prostration, not in not asking for simple forgiveness at all. All the wealthy are my enemies. I labeled them a target for my hatred, and I've lived with that ever since. Even recognizing now that my path might have been twisted, it's not that easy to change. However, I silently hold out my right hand. She looks up at me and gingerly takes my hand. I suddenly realized something I had taken for granted. Her hands were warm. Blood scar scarcely flows through the veins of the rich. That had always been my impression. But I was wrong. She had a tender warmth. I pull her to her feet. Her face was stained with tears and mud. We exchange a quick glance, and then suddenly burst into laughter. We laugh so hard that tears begin to stream again. And yet we are still laughing. Laughing. Crying. Laughing again. As I say this, her face changes in into a small frown. My heart's been consumed with hatred for the wealthy as long as I can remember. I feel my heart begin to lighten again, all thanks to a rich person. Life truly is mysterious. I hold out my right hand to her again. She gives another smile and takes my hand. This time, it's just a shake. Missions may dictate that we fight again. Certainly, she hasn't forgotten this. That's why we let the handshake linger for a while. Each feeling the warmth of the other. お嬢様、あなたは他のお金持ちとは違うようです。ありがとう。分かってくださって。およ。何でしょう。あのたくさんの人たちは随分とガラが悪いのですが、あの人たちは地上げ屋が雇った不良です。地上げよ。貧民街
Oh, that was, that was fast, jeez. Of course, thank you. これで不良たちは全て追い払いましたね。お嬢様。ありがとうございます。どうしたのですか浮かない顔して何かまだ問題があるのですか私たちは悪人と善人。いつかは戦う定めです。ええ。そうですね。だからその時が来るまでは私と お友達になってくださいますかえ私のような貧乏人ではダメでしょうかとんでもない私の方こそお願いしますただしただしお嬢様ではなくてイカルガと呼んでもらえますかああいやだそうですねではこれからよろしくお願いしますイカルガさん